Hello, this is Robbie Myers with Physical Science, Module 3, The Atmosphere Today. Today we are doing Experiment 3.1, Air Pressure. This experiment will demonstrate the fact that the atmosphere actually does exert <clears throat> about 14 pounds per square inch on everything that is in within the atmosphere. So, what you need for this experiment is a tall, clear jar or glass, or about this size if you do a small candle, a candle and a candle holder, matches or a lighter, a clear bowl, water, we already have water in the bowl, food coloring, you can do any color but we did red. So you take the bowl and fill it with a thin layer of water. This one is about an eighth of an inch. You want it to be able to cover the rim of the glass, but you don't want it to be too shallow or too deep. So, now what you do is we add a few drops of food coloring and stir or shake it around so that the food coloring goes all across it. Now, I put the candle in the center of the bowl, and I light it. Now that the candle is burning, I take the jar and place it over the candle, letting it stand in the bowl, as I did when I was testing the water level. As you already know, the candle will eventually burn out. This is because it will use up all of the oxygen in the jar. So it has used up all of the oxygen in the jar. And notice that the water level in the jar has risen quite a bit. It is almost sinking the candle now. So now we have changed the angle of the camera so you can see that the water, you can see the water more clearly in the jar. It is now about up there almost an inch in the jar. So now we're going to light the candle and put the jar on it. Now the candle is floating. Now um, the water level has risen because the candle has used up all the oxygen so there's no pressure pushing on the water in the jar. Now I'm going to take the ruler that I happen to have here and measure it and it is approximately just about an inch or about half an inch in the jar standing up. Now, what just happened? As soon as you put the jar over the candle, the jar had air in it, of course. The, that air pushed against the water with the same pressure that the air outside the jar did. As a result, the water level in the jar stayed the same as the water level in the bowl. After the candle burned out, there was less air because the candle had used up all of its oxygen. As a result, the air in the jar could not exert as much pressure as it used to, and the air of outside of the jar pushed water into the jar. The outside pressure from the air continued to push the water into the jar until the additional weight of the water in the jar made up for the loss of pressure due to the lack of oxygen. 
This was Robbie Myers with Physical Science. Yeah.